Welcome to the International Desk. I'm Linda Kincaid. We begin this hour with breaking news. Right now, the Pacific Island nation of Vanuatu is dealing with the aftermath of one of the most powerful storms ever to make landfall there. The country is now declared a state of emergency. Tropical cyclone Pam has killed at least half a dozen people and it's feared the death toll will rise. In the capital of Port Vila, a path of destruction carved by roaring winds and torrential rain. And it may be much worse in other parts of the Pacific Island nation where infrastructure is much weaker. Most communications are still down, making it very difficult to assess the full extent of the damage. Now, it's uh, night time there right now, further complicating efforts to get to the devastated areas. Several aid workers in Port Vila spoke with CNN a little earlier, describing the scene. Have a listen. That's the sound of wind gusts of up to 325 kilometres per hour. Cyclone Pam slammed into the South Pacific Island nation of Vanuatu, endangering the lives of nearly 250,000 people. We woke up this morning to absolute devastation here. Um, we did manage to get out into the town this afternoon just to really get an idea of, of how that devastation is. And we're talking um, up to the trees, palm, broken up palms everywhere, roofs have been ripped off and debris everywhere, roads are blocked, and um, houses are completely destroyed, this is completely flattened. I really can't imagine how long it will take to be able to, to recover the villa. Port Villa looks like an absolute bomb has hit it. It is devastating. I've just been for a drive around uh, where you can drive through because there are a lot of roads that are, are blocked off. Trees haven't just fallen across the road here. Um, they've fallen across in piles so high on some places you can barely see over the top. Uh, the water is incredibly rough. Um, there are some villages that have just been absolutely decimated. Um, they're a local huts which are made of thatched roofs and, and walls as well. They've just been absolutely blown away. Pam is one of the strongest cyclones ever to hit the region. Authorities had warned of the possibility of destructive winds, storm surges, flash flooding and landslides. People took cover in churches and schools. The capital city of Port Vila, home to nearly a sixth of the population, suffered flooding and power cuts. There's no power, there's no water, uh, people are, are you know, moving to evacuation centres. Um, we're, we're currently working, Care International is working with the government here to look at how can we provide for those in those shelters with, with um, all the agencies here on the ground. It may take weeks before the full extent of the damage is known. We've been following the devastation left behind in Vanuatu from Cyclone Pan. The storm has now moved past those islands, but it's still packing quite a punch. Meteorologist Ivan Cabrera joins us now with the latest forecast. And Ivan, some say this weather disaster could be the worst in the history of the Pacific region. It could very well be. I mean, I think we're just in such an early stage right now as far as uh, what we can tell you as far as the damage. The pictures that we've been showing you coming out of the region, I think, I really think, are going to pale in comparison to what we're going to see over the next uh, several days coming out of some of the more remote islands, some of the islands that just cannot withstand the force of the storm, which at its peak was at 325 kilometers per hour. That is just an incredible event. And in fact, we've only had one other storm that powerful to hit any landmass. And that was, of course, high on in the Philippines. So now we have our second strongest. And look at this, a direct strike on such a tiny island where we have about 60,000 people there. That's Vila, and that is where it made uh, landfall. But of course, the wind field expands well out from the center, and so that it impacted with a lot of the islands here. Now it is moving south and east, and it's rapidly doing so. So